a production of Sela Broadcasting Network. Buenas noches, Sela family. I am Mr. Shawell. Today is Saturday, March 32nd, 1920. April Fools. It's really Wednesday, April 1st, 2020, and it's April Fools Day. But of course, I I wouldn't play any April Fools joke on you. Me never. Never. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Now for the weather. It's freezing today. My teeth won't stop chattering because it's so cold. It's minus 130 degrees and hail is falling the size of golf balls. Uh, 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 April Fool's Fool Day! <laughs> so, don't forget that Sela is offering a grab-and-go lunch, breakfast, and snack from 10.30 to 12.30, Monday through Friday. You will pick up your lunch and a snack as well as breakfast for the next day. Your children must be with you, in the car with you, and all meals are free for anyone 18 years and younger. I wonder who's gonna join us for today's Sila Moment. This is Miss Londono here. Miss Carrasco here. Miss Johnny. Officer Hanson. We are here at the SELA building, making sure that it's taken care of, making sure that when your parents come between 1030 and 1230, we are here to help them with what they need. Mr. Hanson is making sure that the building is being taken care of. Please remember to wash your hands and practice social distancing just as we are. We love and we miss you. Bye. Bye. Adios. This month we're going to be talking about college and careers. And every day we'll have a new letter of the alphabet to help us talk about these things. And the letter for today is... And today for the letter A, we have associate degree. That is a two-year degree that you can usually get by a community college. So for example, like CPCC. Parents, please stay connected to Class Dojo for important announcements and information. Also, be sure to check out media and art with Mrs. Buchanan, me, and Miss Rosa today on Class Dojo and on Facebook. Keep sending us your videos or pictures for CELA Junior Moments. Did you pull an April Fool's prank on someone? We would love to see it. Send your videos and pictures to Mr. Perez in the address shown on the screen. Videos should be one minute or less. Now for a CELA Junior Moment. Oh, hey guys, it's me, Gabriel. This is a prayer plant, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to propagate it. If you don't know what propagate means, it means when you cut off a cutting and you put in some water like this so first you're gonna see you're gonna look around and if it's thick all the way down and then get skinny that's the part you want to cut because that means it's going to grow roots so you want to slowly cut it not from the very top but not to the very bottom you're going to cut it like this and then you're going to put it in some water like that and boom, it's done. Good morning, Sela. It is April 1st, and I'm not fooling you. Starting today, we're going to be celebrating all our upcoming student birthdays on the Wolf News. So for today, April 1st, we have four birthdays to celebrate. We have Rachel in Miss Batalis's first grade class. We have Syed in Miss, Day in Miss White's sixth grade class. We have Isma in Miss Harvey's kindergarten class. And last but not least, we have Rixie in Miss P's fifth grade class. Have a happy birthday! Did you figure out the riddles yesterday? Oh, what building has the most stories? 
It's a library. Yes, you got it right. That was an easy one and one of my favorites. So today, instead of a riddle, I have a joke for you. Are you ready? So there was this guy and he was walking down the street and he spots a sign outside a house. And it says, the sign says, talking dogs for sale. What? Talking dogs? He, really? He's, he's got to go in and investigate. What, what, what is going on? So he walks in. So he asks the dog, what have you done with your life? He asks the dog. Well, I've led a full life, says the dog. I lived in the Alps rescuing avalanche victims. I've surfed the largest waves around the world, and now I spend my days reading to the residents of a retirement home. The guy, he, he can't believe his ears. Seriously? Seriously? He, he turns to the dog's owner and he says, uh, why on earth would you want to get rid of an incredible dog like that? The owner says, because he's a liar. He never did any of that. Let's take a walk down memory lane with Sheila Memory.